finally i have created styles for capture one i tried as much as possible to mimic whatever it is i've created in lightroom here in capture one that's almost like a difficult feat to do trying to make sure some of your colors look the same way i mean i have a whole different color grading game in capture one as compared to lightroom which i have stated majorly all the time the differences between capture one and lightroom and i think today i'm going to praise capture one more because how you can use cool styles or styles in capture one it's more um, free or there are more there's more freedom to using presets or cool styles in capture one than to using them in lightroom in lightroom it just applies on your basic background layer and that's where i think i was able to create profiles just so that you can have more room but i think in capture one even if you use this particular style you can put it on layers you can stack two or three styles together to create a look you're looking out for on your images these styles are supposed to help elevate your color grading game in capture one i purposely made this for dark skin models and i think there are two or three styles in there that work for medium tone or light skin models also i mean the whole creative process is dependent on you and how you want to use these presets to elevate your images so it's supposed to help only outdoor images just outdoor i created them with regards to outdoor images down in the description box below there's a link to my shop go check out the price if you're interested for all those who want to use it for capture one when you purchase it you're going to you're going to get this download link in your mail probably sometimes it ends up in your spam so do check your spam also when you download you get the zip file so let's unzip it and immediately i unzip it you can see six different cool styles in the folder all i have to do is i can either select or right click and hit on open and it's automatically install in capture one or you open capture one i am using capture one 22 it works for any other capture one which supports styles and presets so i'll come into my style tab click on this three dots over here import styles and style brushes i'll go into my downloads because i have unzipped it in here all i have to look for is my styles select all and hit on open when i hit on custom styles you can see the different styles that i created imported here in my capture one like i said earlier there are more advantages to using styles in capture one because i can create a style on a new layer and i can work on the background layer and if i feel like the style is too much I can equally reduce the opacity of the style to match the kind of coloring I'm looking out for. Today, I have images I shot four years ago, three years ago, two years ago, a year ago, and even my current photography year. So I think, eh, yeah, five years in photography, roughly. And I would want to try it out on them. There's a video where Dexter said you should visit your old images. And I think it kind of inspired me to use them for today's video. I use the Canon 6D to shoot this image. I can show you. So there's the metadata for it. As you can see, model Canon EOS 6D. This was like four years ago. So I'll come back to my style. Let's take notes. Capture one, when you open the layers, there's a background layer. Just like that in Photoshop, there's a background layer. And you can make adjustments to this background layer. There are two ways I can apply the style. I can either apply it on the background layer. So let's see, let me pick X Pro 1. I can either apply it on the background layer with the adjustment showing there, or let me undo this. I'll apply this on a new layer. So when I come to, let's hit on apply partially. When I come to the layer tab again, now you can see the code style being applied on a new layer. I can choose to reduce the opacity to the amount i want and i can come back down to my background layer and make further adjustments that's how easy and how cool and how open capture one is with regards to using cool styles and presets to elevate your image now let me keep this at 75 and you can even change some of the settings i made in here if it doesn't suit your preference because i did quite an amount of adjustments in the adjustment tab and also in the color tab so i mean you move them according to what you want 
then when you're done choose to either reduce the opacity or increase the opacity all falls on you so let me come back to this and open up my shadows a little bit so this is the before and after before and after i also mentioned you can stack up to right so let's see if i pick x pro 2 i can apply to new layer when i come to my adjustment tab you can see two grades have been stacked up to create this look i can equally reduce the opacity of this then i have two grades being applied on my image if that's what you want so this is the before and this is the after let's move to the next image 6d let's go to my styles i'm going to use x pro 3 for this i like the whole orange and teal look apply to new layer and all i want to do to this is to come into my white balance and warm it up a little bit come to my background layer into my adjustment tab and open up my shadows and maybe my brightness so i have this as my before and this as my after i can reduce the opacity if i want 90 is good for me when i come to this image i'll go to tjd film apply partially it's applying partially because some effects that are used are supposed to apply on only background layers like film grain lens correction i mean you should get it but the color tab and the color editor tool and the color adjustments you can do them on empty layers so when you take a look at what the problem is so let me research this when i right click on the film and i apply to new layer what is not applying is the film grain so i can apply partially come to refine which has my grain then i move this to soft grain just to give me that film look move this to 70. i'm good to go let's move to this image this image i'm going to apply x pro 3 on this and all i would do to this is to reduce my opacity to say 60. this is the before and this is the after before and after and if i want to add another coloring into this i can just come back to my background layer or even create a new field adjustment layer and add some coloring but i'll choose to do this on the background layer and come to color balance and within my shadows i can add more blues to my shadows or maybe some purple and i love this can warm up the midtones again and cool down my highlights i mean you have more room to play around i don't know if you've been following my youtube journey for a long time this is an image i shot using 6d i think i did a bts a swimwear shoot at alma i think this was like my first time shooting at alma okay my yeah my first time officially shooting for myself and the second time at alma i'm going to use x pro 3 for this apply to new layer and i like the whole color separation thing i'm seeing here so this is before and this is after before and after you can start two more i mean it becomes to let me see let me reduce the opacity for this i can start the same preset twice and this is what i'm getting on this image it even deepens and darkens my skin more and i love the look and feel it gives to this particular image i'm going to leave it like this you guys remember this image right i use this to create a preset for lightroom a free preset and you guys enjoyed it unfortunately i don't know let me know what let's just get to the end of today's video we'll see what we'll do to these ones so I apply to a new layer apply partially 
and all i want to do is to reduce the opacity come back to my background layer and give the skin a little you know a little push so come to color editor why is my white balance here let me move it up color editor skin tone then give my skin a little push give it some saturation right and let's add some lightness to this or you can come to the basic tab within your oranges you push some lightness in there this is before and after before and after you can add greens to this and you are definitely good to go beautiful i remember shooting this early last i think last two years i'm going to use x pro 2 for this apply to new layer come to my adjustment tab send this to 18 and open up my shadows just to see within my shadows and open up my exposure a little bit also that's too much that's too much rather let me see open up brightness okay let me send this back to 100 i like the full effect before and after before and after i like what i'm seeing i like what is happening to my skies i like the contrast between my sky and my skin the whole orange and teal look x pro 2 does its best let's look at this image i shot of bijou i'm going to use x pro 3 so i can use x pro 1 i love the tones here it warms up this cloudy image i shot i can also use x pro 2 if this is the kind of look i'm going for but i want to use x pro 3 just because of the separation i'm getting from the background which is the cyan over there and her her skin tone so i'm going to apply this to a new layer come to my adjustment tab and reduce the opacity come to the background and in my levels i'll raise up the levels and i'll raise this up also now come to my color tab and warm this up let me see let me warm it up i can increase the warmth because i have reduced the warmth over here i can equally choose to reduce this i mean warm it up here but i want to do that job over here just so that you don't see my settings <laughs> okay come back to the adjustment tab and open up my shadows a little bit right to expose for her skin i need to see her skin so this is before and after before and after minor adjustments skin tones are enriched i can see a clear separation and i can go in more and add more color into this so some blues i like to add blues to my shadows i mean elevate it some blues within my shadows warm up the mid tones a little bit and add some tealish into my highlights and there i have it as you can see okay let's move to this this is a fujifilm file and i'm going to use x pro one for this beautiful if i want to make any further adjustments i'll just make further adjustments but so far i love what i'm seeing let's move to this image let's see x pro one yes i like x pro sorry this is the base x pro the base x pro's job is to remove a lot of yellows from your image and tone the skin into the kind of direction you want with it so this is before the x pro and this is after the x pro so i'm going to apply this to a new layer and i have my x pro doing what the lord says it should do So this is before and after before and after i have done a similar edit in lightroom and i think i posted this on my instagram page i think i also have it on my website also 
but to be able to get the same kind of feel here in um capture one i really love capture one and i can even go all the way because in lightroom when i did this edit and i sent it to photoshop i kind of applied a couple of adjustments to this but that adjustments i did in photoshop i can do that here so if i want to add blues into my shadows all i need to do is add blues into my shadows over here and it sends the skin to another level if i want to mute my skin tones also i can reduce the luminance of the midtones i can warm it up again and i can cool down or add some bluish cyan into my highlights and bro just just take a look at this right there's more room to play with coloring in capture one and my presets will help you so my presets why do i keep on saying presets? because i'm a cap i'm a lightroom user my co-styles will help you and help you in a sense that they are a base i feel like you should know what presets and co-styles and i mean when you buy these things or like they should help you understand or they should help you move your image from one point to the other and when it gets to the next point if you want to make adjustments to it then you just make adjustments to it when you buy these and you move through the various tabs and you check out the adjustments I made, you would understand. And if you feel they are too much, that is why the opacity is there for you. If it works on your image, if it's a one-click solution like this, one-click solution for me. And I apply this onto the background layer because I don't want to make any adjustments to this. All I want to do is to come into my exposure tab and reduce the exposure. So if you compare before and after, you see the yellows going away and it enriches the skin tones as well. And I love it. Beautiful. Let's see. X Pro 1. X Pro. I mean, muted. The yellows are gone. Looks cool. And there's X Pro 1. Enriches the skin. Oh, I love this. I really do. Let's see. X Pro 2. I mean, there's a style to it. X Pro 3 sends it in more film and muted tones. Muted tones are soft on the skin. I'll use it in another image. Let me use X Pro 1 for this. Let me clear. Yeah, let me use X Pro 1 for this. This is before the X Pro 1 and after the X Pro 1. Let's go to this. I'm going to use muted tones for this and take a look at this. Did I apply on the background? No, I want to apply on a new layer. So, before the muted tones, after the muted tones, it, elim it eliminates a lot of yellows, it softens the skin. Let me zoom in on the skin. It gives you that soft, glowy feel on your skin. You understand? And the color corrects your image for you also. And that's what the muted tones are for. Come to this image. Let's use X Pro 3. The whole red and cyan contrasting each other. If you look into the shadows, you can see cyan's in there. And the red on the skin and the red background. I love it. I'm going to use X Pro 2 for this. One tap solution. X Pro 3. I'm going to use muted tones for this. Easy. Softens the skin. Let's see. Film. Muted tones. X Pro 3. So I'm going to stack two styles on this. Let's apply this to new layer. Apply partially. And I'll apply the film also. So what I want to do is come to the adjustment tab and reduce the effect of the X Pro 3 because I like that orange and cyan look and reduce my film also. So I have my image moving from this to this with two styles that are stacked together. And I love it. Let's move to this. Let's see X Pro 1. X Pro 2, X Pro 3, Film, Muted Tones. X Pro, let's use X Pro 1. 
I like the contrast. I like how it deepens my blues. And if I want to readjust the deep, the deepness in the blues, I come to my color editor, my blues, and I just open up the lightness and make it more, make it look more cyan. And if the contrast is too much, you can come here and reduce your contrast. If if you're not going in for that contrast, I mean the X Pro, X Pro One. Are we using X Pro One? Yeah, the X Pro One is supposed to give you a deep contrasting look. I mean that's what enriches the skin, and there's a bit of orange and teal in it also. Let's move to this particular image. I have a similar edit in Lightroom. I'm going to use X Pro Three for this. Right, using Expo 3 for this, all I would do is come into the color tab and in the Kelvin, I'm going to warm it up. Not too much though. I'll warm it up to this point. Come to the background layer, come to color editor, let's go to skin tones. I want the skin to be reddish than yellowish. So I'm going to move the hue towards the red zone give it a little bit of saturation then come to my adjustment tab levels and let's go to exposure and expose it a little bit give some shadows to this and we have this beautiful image from this to that this to that like I said, I have a similar edit in Lightroom. That is where I ended up selling my TJD profiles, color profiles. And I've been able to do that here in Capture One. And I'm really glad. I'm really glad I was able to do this. Then that means my understanding of coloring keeps on increasing and expanding all the time. This image of Channel E, let's see, X Pro 3, X Pro 2, X Pro 1. All the X Pros work on this. I mean, this also works if you're looking for a cool toned image, bright and airy and all. Let's see film and muted tones. Okay, we are not muted for this. Let's use this. So apply to new layer. Don't ask me again. Apply to new layer. Let's come to the layer tab. And okay, let me go into the color and increase my white balance a little bit. Then I come to the background layer and expose. I need some exposure on this. And don't let my whites blow out. So let me reduce the highlights. Okay, what else can we do? Let's go to skin toning, oranges for sure. And maybe move it into the reds. beautiful just so beautiful before and after before and after let's move to this i'm going to apply i think i i did i did apply x pro 3 on this so this is it so this x pro 3 at an opacity of 80 if you want to make adjustments to the skin, I mean, if the skin tone is not in the direction you want, you can come to the skin tone on the background. Because we've applied this to a new layer, we can play along with it, increase the saturation of the skin, increase the lightness also, and maybe the hue, change it into a little bit reddish. And we have our image moving from this to looking like this. Tone down, luminosity values are in check. Let's come to this. I'm going to use TJD film for this. Apply to new layer and I'm good to go. Let me crop this well. Let's see, rotate. Crop. Is she in the middle? Yes, she is. This is the before and after. Before and after. If I didn't create a film look, I, I think it wouldn't have been a complete set. If you guys remember my first pieces I put out, 
there were film looks in the light. I think my TJD profile there was a film look. Color play there was a film look. Yeah, film is film. X Pro 3 apply to new layer. Come into the adjustment tab. Reduce this to 80. Color. Let's warm up the white balance. All right? Come into. Base, color editor, skin tones. Skin tones are quite important for me. So, a little bit reddish, no yellowish. And then maybe warm it up. And because she's dark skinned, I'm going to reduce the luminosity on it. And add a little bit of cyan into the shadows. Not too much though, because I've already added and cool down the highlights if I want and warm up my mid tones. Should I add contrast or remove contrast? I mean, the luminosity sliders over here can help. I think I like the soft view. Okay, this is good. So before that, and after that before and after you can see the cyan in the shadows and all what i want to say to this is if you want to expose your image you can always expose it let me not use the shadows let me use the exposure so before and after all right let's move to the last but one image going to style let's use X Pro 2 for this. I like how it adds magenta to its reds. It changes the image from this, mutes the yellows, and exaggerates the reds. Of course, reds are also in skin tone, so you're going to see much more of that. And the last image, this image was shot this year for a commercial um, tidal reef and i had a lot of people asking me how i edited and all i used my cool styles to edit them so i started with one of these cool styles which is the x pro one i have applied it onto the background and if i want to make adjustments to this so i'm going to come into my color editor basic the blues even darken it down the more maybe increase the saturation of the blues and change the hue the skin a small that can be done to the skin and reduce the saturation of the skin just to match this is why i started from sent it into photoshop did a couple adjustments whiten the sun down here by using layers here in so i'm going to use the layers just to show you so i'll hit on the gradient tool and draw a mask upwards and drawing the max when i hold m on the keyboard you're going to see the max being drawn right because it's just down here i will go into my color tab color editor my yellows because i know they are in the yellows and i'll even use the advanced to pick it up the more and reduce the saturation let's make sure it's not affecting our skin so let's reduce the selection okay it's not affecting it i'll come back to the color basic and increase my lightness advanced increase the lightness also yeah, and that's how easy and open and free Capture One is with regards to using styles and even working in Capture One. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier when I started the video, but for all those who are interested in understanding Capture One, becoming a master in it and all, I have a full playlist on how to move through Capture One from every tab. I mean, it's just my explanation of the tabs in Capture One. If you want a full understanding, Capture One has a channel, check it out and understand whatever it is you want to understand. But for me, I just did a few explanations 
letting you know how I use those tabs in Capture One. So I'm going to link a card to the said video. I'll link down in the description box the link to my co-styles. Look at the price. If it is something you can buy, support your brother by buying it because I use the money you guys support me by buying my presets into creating content when I step outside full prices. And I mean, the country is in haywire and I just don't want to talk about it. So support your brother, buy the presets, share this video to other people who might be interested in also understanding how to use co-styles. I think maybe in the later in the later future or something, I'm going to show you guys how to create school styles in Capture One and how to export them. I've had similar problems where people didn't know or don't know how to get their cool styles from Capture One if they tend to create, you know, these things in Capture One. So maybe in later videos, I'll do that. But thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for staying or sticking to the end. For all those who stuck to the end, I have a short code for you. Use this to get a discount off the price for whatever it is the price will be for this process it's just for the very first five people so after the fifth person the discount code stops working thank you don't forget to subscribe like and share and i'll see you in the next creation of cool styles peace